Good afternoon everybody. Welcome to our shop here at Professional Tractor. Just wanted to make a video today about our needle differentials that we use in our pulling tractors. And, and there's our little buddy. Hey little buddy. He's a little shop helper and he's got to get on camera too. So just start off here by talking about the stock IH cross shaft. And you can see it's uh, pretty poor condition. We've pulled with this for a few years and the gears started welding themselves tight on these shafts and we could tell it was time for an upgrade. So we'll pull the cover off and get inside here carefully. And right away you can see got a nice uh, insert with a thrust bearing for the side gear and that'll help greatly reduce the friction on that side gear. So here we go, we've got custom billet cross shafts. These are stock IH spider gears. Uh, you can see they add these brass thrust washers on the side and that helps to reduce friction on those spider gears. And so I'll pull one of these crosses off of here carefully. So I really don't want to play 52 pickup here this afternoon. And I'll just uh, spread these out of here a little bit. And there you go. You can see the needle bearings underneath the spider gears. So that's machined to accept those needle bearings. And we've got the other cross shaft. And that's the same deal there. You can see those needles under there. And That'll also greatly reduce friction on that differential. The other side gear, same thing, nice uh, insert with a thrust washer, thrust bearing. So another thing we're going to do here is when I reassemble this, I'll pack this all with grease and I'm going to drill some ports in here just to allow extra oiling back in this housing. So on the original differential, the cross shaft has these flat spots on the shafts and that would allow oil to migrate into this housing and inside the differential area here. So these billet cross shafts are round, so that's why I feel it necessary to drill a couple holes in here just to allow oil to get back in this area. Uh, the other thing to consider with having these cross shafts. So if you look at the center portion, you can see there's more material in here versus the original. So what we're going to have to do, and I'll make another video on that someday, is where the pinion shaft goes through these side gears and comes into the inside area here. We're going to have to machine our shafts where it sits in this end. We're going to have to machine those off about a quarter of an inch. Otherwise, you won't get the axle housing on. Uh, pinion shaft will not fit in there properly. But I'll, when we get a little further along in this project, I'll make another video on that. So if you're considering anything like this for your pulling tractor or uh, need a hand with something like that, give us a call. 920-418-3388. We'd be glad to help you out. Thank you.